every track being so different it's like motorsport racing it it's different length it requires different techniques from you athletes are good at different tracks so I certainly don't feel any more pressure than anyone else to perform but having already been to the Olympics and, and knowing a four run race you know that's different to our World Cup setup. I know how to be consistent and trust myself over the two days and it, being reigning champion I don't think makes a massive difference um, I'm just excited to go out to this different track and do my best yes it is a leveller there is of course home advantage to the Korean athletes but we don't have a very strong uh, Korean competition in the women's skeleton so internationally we've only had 20 runs on the track and one test event competition where I came fourth so you know I, I just can't wait to see what happens in the race yeah and uh I think the kitting out day separates the World Cup normal races to the Winter Olympics and you know just having this kit I'm, I'm going to take it home tonight it hasn't quite sunk in that I'm an Olympian again a two-time Olympian um, I'm all quite focused and serious about the competition ahead but it, it's just so exciting this is a complete dream come true wouldn't it be great if we could win another medal wouldn't it be better if we could win two medals in the women's skeleton so Laura and I are both on great form and you know it's absolutely my intention to go there and defend my title I think it's a real combination of I think so because there's something really special about actually putting the kit on for the first time because it's like it's a real visual and physical representation of of the fact that you are going to an Olympics and yeah it's it makes you feel like part of the bigger team um, which is really special. Yeah. When we're speaking to Emma Williams about gosh, that first moment where you pull on the five rings, kind of yeah. Yeah. It kind of gets you a bit. It does. I, um, you know, I, I, when I put the first piece on, you know, I looked at myself in the mirror and I thought, I've actually done it, you know. Yeah. And it's, it is it's a bit surreal and it's, it's a really special moment that I'll remember for a long time. Yeah. Um, I'm going out there with the intention of winning a medal, which is how I approach every race. Um, I'm ultra competitive, so, you know, I don't, I'm not going there to make up numbers. Um, I don't just want to be an Olympian, I want to be an Olympic medalist. Yeah, and results um, this season as well would, would indicate that you, you're going to be up there at least, aren't you? Yeah, I think uh, what I've shown this season is that I can be really consistent, you know, and consistent at a high level. And I think when you're going to an Olympic Games and you've suddenly got to put down four race runs um, rather than just two, like in a normal World Cup, that's when consistency is key. And it's all well and good being able to put down one amazing run, but you have to repeat that three more times. So I think that's when consistency will really help me out. Yeah. I think we have we've worked out a really good formula for success so the fact that we don't have our own skeleton track doesn't hold us back we actually we flip that around and we use it to our advantage so we become really good at learning quickly um, we become ultra versatile and because we're selected um, from a, the background of being a strong physical um, push athlete that means that you know we, we have the advantage of being fast out of the start block so that though I'm obviously aware of everything that's going on I don't want to get overly drawn into it because that's it's it risks being a distraction then and the last thing I want to do is sabotage my own performance by being too worried about what's happening elsewhere so um, I've obviously been aware of it and I'm, I'm very pleased that the IOC has made the decision that there won't be Team Russia at the Olympics I think that's the right decision to make to protect clean sport uh, to protect the Olympic movement going forward um, but you know I can only I can only control what I'm doing so I've got to be super focused on me and putting in my absolute best performance and I think that is the best way of, of um, doing everything justice really is by just concentrating on, on bringing home a medal.